Someone who is born Catholic has been struggling to accept Islam for eight years and finally came to a conclusion that, here's what he said to me, quote, I could no longer reject Lord Jesus because if I accept Islam, Lord Jesus would not be the Son of God, unquote. How could I help him? Thank you. Thanks a lot. The sister has a question. The one of her friends studied Islam for eight years and finally came to the conclusion that if I accept Islam, I'll reject Lord Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And I cannot reject Lord Jesus, peace be upon him, because he is the Son of God. Regarding the first part of his statement, that he'll have to reject Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If you reject Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he cannot be a Muslim. To be a Muslim, one of the criteria is he has to accept Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, as one of the mightiest messengers for Almighty God. If you reject Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he cannot be a Muslim. So first part of his problem is solved. As I mentioned in my talk, that Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Any other religion he accepts, he'll have to reject Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, except Islam. Now coming to the second part of the question, that how can he cannot reject that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is not son of God. As far as the term the son of God is concerned, God has got sons by the times in the Bible. If you read the Bible, the Bible says, Adam was son of God. David was son of God. Ephraim was son of God. Israel was son of God. It's mentioned in the Bible in the book of Romans that as many are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Means whosoever is a righteous person is a son of God. If you are righteous, you are son of God. If I am righteous, I am son of God. So most verily we do agree that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, most verily was the son of God. We have no objection. But there are many Christians who say that no, 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 no. He is not a normal son. He is the begotten son of God. And they quote, Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, they say, that for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die, but have everlasting life. This is the only quotation they can give to prove that son of God, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was different. He was unique. Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. What is the meaning of the word begotten? And if you ask any Christian what is the meaning of the word begotten, it will be difficult to answer. Begotten means sired by God. It's a function of lower animals of sex. And if you read the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, the RSV, revised by Thaidu Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different copy denominations, these Thaidu Christian scholars, they say that this word begotten in Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, is an interpolation, is a concoction, is a fabrication. And they threw it out of the Bible. So if you read the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, revised by Thaidu scholars of the highest eminence, Christian scholars, they say this word begotten is an interpolation. So the only verse with which the Christian missionaries can cling the deal, the Christian scholars have removed it. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is just the Son of God. And if, as the Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God, we verily agree that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, most verily is the Son of God, but he is not the begotten Son of God. As Allah says in the Quran, <laughs> in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse 1 to 4, Qul hu Allah ahad. Say He is Allah one and only. Allah hu samad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufana. There is nothing like Him. The moment someone begets, or someone gets begotten, He is not Almighty God. Hope that answers the question. <laughs>